Hi guys, I thought today I would answer the questions I've been getting about Laura and I's side hustles. The first couple questions are around the tutoring that she does. Um, primarily, does she do it on her own or through a company? And she does go through a company. She just felt it would be easier that way to find clients that would have like times and interests that fit what she knows best and wouldn't have to put a lot of work into. And it's worked really well. She's actually tutoring one girl. Um, it has been two times a week. It's about to bump to three times a week and in person and for the company she's with if you do in-person tutoring you get $25 with a little bit of a bonus for a recurring student so that hasn't kicked in yet but it should soon and they also do online tutoring for $15 an hour. So if it's something you're interested in um, you can go one of two routes. You can do it on your own just through networking and you know see people you know or you know people who know people you know who need whatever skill you're offering, tutoring, babysitting, lawn care, whatever it is. Or you can do a Google search for companies in your area that will find those clients for you. It makes it a little more streamlined. However, you do usually get a little less profit in the long term because obviously they're going to take, you know, a little something for themselves. Um, so I think those are the main questions about the tutoring. I actually might end up doing it too, but right now I'm looking into something else that I could do in the mornings. That way our evenings as a family together wouldn't be any more disrupted than they already are. But we'll see how that all plays out. Our second um, most questioned side hustle is eBay resales. And that one's a little more complicated. I am by no means great at explaining all this. There are a ton of resellers on YouTube who can explain it way better than I do. But I can provide an example or two. So what I thought I would do is run through our five most recent eBay sales because they're pretty representative of our sales kind of overall. So the first one here is two brand new sealed cassette tapes. I got these, they were, there were 10 tapes. Eight of them were, they just were like a different brand or something. So I lotted those eight together and then these two are identical and I lotted them. For all 10, I paid about 50 cents and we got $3 back for these tapes. Um, and the buyer paid for shipping. The next one is these Puma Ducati crossover shoes. We paid about $10 at a thrift store for them and we got $30 for them, plus the buyer paid shipping as well. Um, the third most recent thing we've sold is actually a laptop that we've owned, so I'm not including a price in that. That was something we needed and we used and we were not using anymore. So technically, yes, we did buy it initially. However, it was something that we had to get and now we're just not using, so we're gonna sell it for some money. And that sold for $68 plus the buyer paid shipping. And the next one is sort of interesting. It's this canasta set and it was brand new sealed in the package. I found it at the Goodwill Clearance Center, bins, whatever you call them. You pay by weight there, so I'm not exactly sure what I paid, but let's say it was about 25 cents. I know it wasn't much because it was a really light thing and it sold for $25 and we did free shipping on that. I'm not sure exactly what we paid, so I'm just gonna say we paid about $5 because I think that was probably accurate. And the last thing that we sold um, was this like around the world puzzle that I had bought again for 50 cents at a thrift store and we sold it for $9 plus the buyer paid shipping. Um, on most of the things we sell, we just do buyer pay shipping. It's just a little easier for us, it makes it more streamlined for us to figure out what the profits will be. And the way we do this is when we're out thrift shopping or I go to the bins or whatever it is, if we find something that we think might sell well, we open the eBay app, search for that exact product, look at how many are currently listed, because if there's a whole bunch of them with prices all over the place, you may or may not want to take that risk. And then the second step we do is we go to the filters and set it to sold comps. Um, to see how many have sold recently, what prices they sold for, and like, are they selling like this month, or you know, did they sell all at Christmas time? And then we just kind of make the decision on that risk based from there. So I did a little breakdown. Um, again, the you know sh the tapes we paid 50 cents for, we got three dollars back. The buyer paid shipping. The shoes we paid 10, we got 30 back. Buyer paid shipping. Laptop, I'm not really even sure what we paid, but we had to have it anyway, so I'm not gonna include a cost in that. We got 68 and the buyer paid shipping. Canasta, $25, and we paid shipping. And then the puzzle, I paid 50 cents for, um, and we sold it for nine plus shipping. So that adds up to, if you just add what people paid for it, it adds up to a total of $135. And then I went ahead and subtracted the $5 of shipping and handling that we paid for the Canasta 
which left us with 130. Um, eBay and PayPal combined take about 13% of your profits, which for us was $16.90. So I subtracted that, which was about $113.10. And then from that, I subtracted the original cost of goods, which was $11.25, which leaves us with a profit before taxes of $101.85. So that's not too bad. Most of these things we got on thrift trips that we were going to make anyway, and that's usually how we do it. Every now and then, one of us will run to a thrift store or a garage sale, or sometimes we do it together just to see what we can find. It's a couple hours on a Saturday, and you know, depending on what we find, we may or may not get lucky. Um, but that gives you a little idea. You know, there's some people who do this for a living and make six figures. Um, but for us, it is truly a side hustle. It is very, very part-time, especially now. We haven't bought or listed anything new in a while. We need to get back on top of it. But that gives you a little taste of how we do it. If you're interested in more detailed walkthroughs on, you know, what to look out for, what's selling, all of that stuff, Definitely search here on YouTube for eBay resellers. The channels that I initially watched that got us into it were Rally Roots, Harry Tornado. Those are really the big two. I watched other ones here and there, but those were the big two. I will say if you're new to this, Harry Tornado's channel does a lot of beginner tutorials, beginner tips. It can be a great resource for you, but definitely do some research on your own if you're interested and good luck. <laughs>